mom you stupid ass remote, take me to the Fox channel so I can watch The Simpsons. What's going on here? Apparently, this stupid remote won't do anything. Every time I press one of the buttons so I can watch The Simpsons on Fox, look. It's either that the battery's fried, or probably that the remote is broken somehow in some way. I don't fucking know which one of these problems it is. Part of me would love to fucking call AT&T TV, but the other part of me is going to lose it all if this goddamn remote can't flip to the goddamn channel. What the hell is going on with all this anger and crap? Oh, it's quite obvious. I'm trying to flip to one of the channels where I can watch The Simpsons. Never mind this fucked up remote can't do shit right. And one of my two guesses is it's either the batteries are fried, or probably the remote is broken somehow. Usually Dan would always use the remote to flip the channel. Perhaps we could have a talk with him about this situation. I suppose so. You know what? I'm going to go play on my computer just to take my mind off of the shit. Jesus, I've never seen him so pissed off over for a remote that won't work. This is like the time when he failed to throw the basketball into the hoop. Alright, let's see how well I can shoot this ball to the hoop. In 5, 4, 3, 2. Oh god damn it. Jeez, it sure must be quiet in the house today. I wonder how the kids are doing. Dad, Dad can you please come downstairs? We got a problem. I'm coming Harry. So, what's the problem? Apparently we're trying to figure out this remote that Max has been having trouble with. And then he tried flipping to the box channel by pressing one of the buttons. It won't do anything. Either the batteries don't work now, or is the remote broken somehow. Well, really, I'm going to have a look at this and see what the problem is. I'll be back with it in a few minutes once as I keep you guys updated. Well, alright then. So, what do we do as of now, sis? For me, I'm going to go out shopping with Harold since he and I have been planning to do so for today's Saturday. Oh, that sounds nice. You two have fun. We will- Well, while sis is having fun shopping with her boyfriend, I'm going to go see what Max is up to. I can't tell he is still pissed off about the whole remote problem. Hey there Celine. It's so great to see you sweetheart. It's so great to see you too my sweet Perrin. Are you ready to have some fun shopping? You know I'm ready. I love going out with you so much since I have always been thinking about you every day as always and how much I love talking to you and being with you. Ah, you're so sweet. I love you so much, babe. I love you too, Celine. <laughs> oh, looks like the bus has pulled up. Let's go. <laughs> While we are heading our way, how's your family been? My family's been good. Except... Recently, my young brother Max has been pissed with the remote not working for our TV. He wanted to watch The Simpsons, by the way, and we're trying to figure out whether the batteries are fried or the remote's fucked up. My dad's going to look at the remote and figure out what's wrong. Damn, sucks to hear that your brother Max has gotten upset with the remote. I know, but in the meantime, you and I are going to go out shopping and have some fun. I wouldn't be so surprised if the remote's broken. I hope not, but let's see if the batteries are what's causing the remote to not work. Well damn, it might be the batteries after all. Hope we have some extra batteries somewhere in the drawers around the house. What's happening Nate? Apparently, the remote won't work for the TV, according to Max. He wanted to watch The Simpsons, but none of the buttons work. My guess is the batteries are already fried. 
I'm heading downstairs to check one of the drawers to see if we have extra batteries. I see. Speaking of Max, I wonder what's going on with him. Still, fucking, bored. With the remote not working in the family room, then what the hell am I supposed to do then? Come in whoever it is. Hey Max, hope you don't mind me checking in on you. Are you feeling okay? Just not in a good mood, all because I wanted to watch The Simpsons in the family room. Never mind the fact that the remote is probably screwed up. Your father told me that it's probably the batteries that are fried. So, he's just checking around to see if we have any extra batteries. That better be the case. And I swear to God, if the batteries are not the problem and if I find out that the remote screwed up, I'm going to flip the fuck out. Whoa, whoa. Take it easy son, it's not the end of the world. I mean you have a TV here in your room. So I don't see what's the purpose of watching your favorite programs out in the main room. Actually, I use this TV in here to play my favorite video games. I wish I had a TV cable of my own in here, but unfortunately, they are that expensive. Oh, right. I didn't even recognize that before. Ellie, I could use some help. I don't know which drawer has the batteries. I'll be right back. I'm going to help your father find the batteries. I'm coming, Derry. I'm going downstairs to help Mom and Dad find the batteries as well. As much as I love shopping around at Target, I love looking at the video game aisle, especially the Xbox part. My brother Max also loves video games as well, mostly Xbox and PC. PC, huh? Yeah, most of the time, he would go up to the Game Jones website and download whichever game you choose and plays it. And sometimes, he'll buy a game from the Microsoft Store and play it. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah, anyways. Shall we stop by the clothing aisle? I love to see what types of new outfits they have. Sure. To the clothing aisle we go, my love. And here we are at the clothing aisle. I hope they have something that is the super style. Hell yeah. Even if I pick out a new outfit on Dare to School on Monday, you and my two friends, Bridget and Sunovu, are going to love it. Especially if it's a bad ant outfit. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey Celine. How's it going Bridget? It's nice to bump into you here. What's up? Nothing much, just shopping around here as well. I see that you and her are shopping here too. Damn right girl. He and I have actually been planning to do some shopping today since we have been talking at school yesterday. That sounds cool. I'm glad that you two are having a good time. I'll see you at school on Monday, Celine. Take care for now. See you later at school on Monday as well, Bridget. My, ain't that so nice to see a friend of mine here. Well, let's see what these clothes find in store for us. Alrighty. My, we've been searching everywhere around the house looking for extra batteries. Tell me about it, Ellie. I'm starting to get a little tired after walking back and forth. I'm almost close to passing out, not like the time when I was sleepwalking in the middle of the night. No I don't know why you're not fair. I give you my love, but you don't care. So what is right and what is wrong? Give me a sign. What is love? Oh baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. What is love? Baby don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Now that you mention it, were you trying to sing What is Love by Hathaway? Felt like it. Damn. I think I gotta stop watching these memes from the late 2000s. But anyway, where were we again? We were searching around the house for batteries, remember dad? Oh, you're right, Harry. Thank you for the reminder. Wouldn't the extra batteries be in either the top drawer or the bottom drawer? Well, only one way to find out. Let's start off with the top drawer first.
See anything in there? Not in this drawer apparently. All there is inside are some supplies and crap. Let's try the bottom drawer I suppose. Found your batteries. Fucking finally. Now we can grab these new pair of batteries and put them in the remote. I hope that is the case. To be honest Max, the fried batteries were actually the problem after all. Turns out I was right. It was literally the batteries. Come on, what do you say we put these new batteries in so we can watch some TV? Yeah, but, the question is where's Celine? I haven't seen her in her room since we got started on this mission. I just remembered. Before we all got started on this mission, she told me she was going shopping with her boyfriend Harold since the two have been planning to do so today. Oh, that sounds nice. Seems like she must be having a good time with that guy. I'm so proud of her for not only just growing up, but also to find a good looking guy as well. Me too. One day, we should definitely meet Harold and get to know him. Ready to see how this dress looks on me. I'm ready, babe. So, what do you think? Ooh la la. You look so beautiful in that dress. Thank you. Oh, have you decided on what outfit you want to try out, honey? Now that I look at these outfits, I think I know which outfit I would love to wear. How does this look on me? You look so handsome, Harold. Glad we picked both of these outfits. One night, we should definitely wear these outfits whenever we go out on a date. I love that idea. Harold, my beloved prince. You have chosen wisely for our next date. And I am proud. Say, let's go purchase these new outfits we have picked. Okay. I had a great time shopping with you today. Now all that's left is tonight's date. I'm looking forward to it. Well, 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 if it isn't Celine and her bitch boyfriend, Harold. Well, 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 if it isn't that whore named Cassandra, the one who fucking bullied me a few days ago. What the hell do you want from me? I thought you learned your damn lesson. Oh, nothing. So I see you and your boyfriend here just got through shopping. It would be a shame if I snatched that bag from both of your hands and throw it right across the street. Oh, fuck off. No wonder why you got suspended from school a few days ago. Yet, you have not learned your lesson. I don't need to be told what to do by two of you fucking goth wannabe fucks. That's fucking it. That is the last goddamn time I love to hear such cruelty from you, Cassandra. Beat her ass, Celine. Kick her ass. As much as I hate having to put up with you, I also hate how you are always so full of yourself. Thinking you're so high and mighty. Thinking that you're the perfect girl that every guy wants. Well, you're not. All you are is some low life husband and egotistical bitch. Trying to make yourself look like a better person. In additional facts, not every girl is perfect. Therefore, I just smack you some senses in my way. So you better start thinking about your own actions, or otherwise may things by you in it, but Cassandra? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm Harold. We're getting the hell out. Fuck you, Celine and Harold. Fuck you too. Just wait until I see both of your asses in school sometime and then we'll see who will be the baddest bitch of them all. How about you stop fucking screaming already Cassandra? Yeah, shut your bitchy screaming ass up. My friend here and I are about to shop at Target so we can check out them games.
Get that guy, Pierre. Get him. This guy is about to get some. No way in heck he'd be able to shoot us since we're on a team. Damn right, man. And... Ben. That fool's out. We just earned another point. Now that's what I like to hear. Pierre, you are amazing at this game. Hell yeah. And you're getting good with this game as well, Max. Like what Max said, you are awesome at this game, my beloved Prince Pierre. Or, thanks Penny. While we are playing our game online, just wondering Max, how's your day so far? My day has been, somewhat, alright. At first, I was somewhat frustrated, because I wanted to watch The Simpsons out in the living room, but the remote was being screwed up. Not the remote being screwed up, but my dad, my mom, my younger brother and I went searching around the house to find new batteries since my dad told me the batteries were fried. Oof. But thankfully you guys found new pairs of the batteries so now you can watch TV in the living room. And that's one dilemma everyone has had. Tell me about it. I'm just lucky that the remote wasn't screwed up. If it were, then, we would have gone out to the store and bought a new remote. Right. Just out of curiosity, what TV cable do you and your family had? Dish? At a TV or something like that? A TNT TV. Ah, interesting. I'll get it. Ah, you're back. How was your shopping? My shopping with Harold was awesome, little bro. Alright family, I'm back. Welcome back home Celine. You and Harold had a great time shopping I can tell. We sure have. How are you guys? Did you take care of the whole remote dilemma thing Max was having a tough time with? Yes, all this time. It was the fried batteries that was causing the remote to not work. So we had to go around the house looking in every drawer for a new pair of batteries. You could say it almost felt like a mission to us, so everything's all good now. Oh, and just wondering, what's in that bag? A new outfit I am going to wear for me and Harold's next date tonight. Oh, that's nice. We hope you two have fun tonight on your next date. He and I definitely will. Ah, uh, I see you are back already sis. Sorry I took a bit long, I was playing Halo with my friend Pierre. It's all cool Max now then, if you guys excuse me, I'm going to go set my bag down in my room and get ready for me and Harold's next date. How do I look in my new outfit? It, it looks, looks very, very beautiful, beautiful on you. you. Thanks mom and dad. That must be him. I'll be very careful. I'll see you later mom and dad. I love you both. We love you too Celine. You will always be our good girl and you always will be. Hey Celine. Are you ready for this wonderful date? Yes I am. Harold. Let's go. What's up you all? This is your boy Savage Station 22, also known as on this channel, Epic Savage Animator, speaking. I'd like to take the time and say thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a new video. See you all in my next video. Peace, thank you and bye.